Welcome to the Video User's Guide for the Prime BTH 300KU lapel microphone kit. This product is designed to work with the AT&T Enhanced Push to Talk app on both iOS and Android smart devices. The BTH 300 lapel microphone has the following controls and connections. On the top of the device is the power button a 3.5mm accessory earphone jack, and the built-in internal microphone. On the side of the BTH300 is a two-color LED status indicator and a button for answering and hanging up phone calls. Located on the front is a large round push-to-talk button. On the other side of the kit, you will find buttons for adjusting the phone volume up or down and a micro USB jack for charging. The BTH300 also has a clothing clip on the back for securing the kit to the user's lapel. Before using the BTH300, it must be paired to your smart device. Once paired, the smart device and lapel microphone will remember each other and will reconnect to each other whenever they are both powered on and within range. To pair the BTH300 to a smart device, first make sure that the lapel microphone is powered off. Then press and hold the power button on the BTH300 until the LED indicator flashes blue-red, blue-red continuously. The BTH300 is now in pairing mode and is ready to be connected to your Android or iOS smart device. If you are using Android, access the device's Settings Bluetooth menu and ensure that Bluetooth is enabled. If it isn't, swipe the button on the screen to turn it on. Next, Tap Scan to search for nearby Bluetooth devices. When the scan is complete, BTH300 will be shown in the list of Bluetooth devices. Tap on BTH300 to select it as the device to pair with. Within a few seconds, the smart device and BTH300 will connect to each other. The LED on the BTH300 will change to a periodic blue flash. In the phone's Bluetooth menu, the BTH300 will be shown as connected to both phone and media audio. The BTH300 has now been paired with your Android device and is ready to be used. For Apple iOS users, the pairing process is similar, but actually requires two separate Bluetooth pairings. That's because the BTH300's audio and push-to-talk connections appear as separate Bluetooth devices. In the Apple iOS device's Settings Bluetooth menu, make sure that the Bluetooth feature is enabled. If it isn't, swipe the button on the screen to turn it on. The iOS device will automatically scan for all nearby Bluetooth devices. After a few seconds, two different Bluetooth devices will appear BTH300 and PTTK. Tap on the BTH300 to select it as the device to pair with. After a few seconds, the BTH300 and smart device will connect. Under My Devices, the BTH300 will show as connected and the LED on the lapel mic will change to a periodic blue flash. The Bluetooth audio connection between the phone and BTH300 has now been paired. To pair the push-to-talk connection, tap on PTTK to select it. A confirmation window will be shown. Tap Pair to confirm the pairing request. Under My Devices on the iOS screen, the PTTK will now show as connected. The Bluetooth push-to-talk connection of the BTH300 has now been paired to the iOS smart device. The BTH300 is now ready to be used. Once the pairing has been completed, 
The BTH300 will work with the AT&T Enhanced Push to Talk app. Calls received by the EPTT app will be heard through the BTH300's earphone. Pressing the Push to Talk button on the BTH300 will activate AT&T EPTT, causing the app to send a call to the current selected contact. Transmit audio for the call will be picked up through the BTH300's microphone.